hermano sapo. I was on medium. Hey, what are you cooking there? Going anywhere. Is that corn on the cob? Yeah. <laughs> Romaine lettuce. That's I've never right. done it this way. Well, it's pretty tasty. So you just heat it up and then you're going to cut it, the ends off, and then you're just going to prepare it. What did you put Caesar dressing on it? Uh huh. So, yes. That's Caesar it. dressing and some tomato slices. Those can go with it wow. or not. Oh, and some cool. croutons. Oh, and some croutons. Yeah. Nice. All right. Almost done. So, Victor, what's in store for me tomorrow? What's the day going to be like? You, you A lot of picking. A lot of picking. We're getting up at 1 a.m. And we've got to be there by 1.30. Uh-huh. No lollygagging around. Okay. <laughs> I'll be up. Don't worry. I know you will. <laughs> and that was after, what time we get up this morning? Three? Three. And I took, I took a, a long nap, and I'm going to have four or five hours tonight. And you only took an hour, a uh, half so hour. An hour. Half hour I fell asleep? Half hour? Yeah, not much. <laughs> and you're going to sleep for... for a couple more hours and you're good to go for another full day, 1 a.m. Running five crews around tomorrow, right? Yep. Yeah. A big pick tomorrow. How many, how many grapes do you think they're going to pick tomorrow? Probably be over 100 tons. 100 tons? Yeah. Wow. By noon. By noon? And then, and then after, after noon, then uh, the guys get a break, yeah. and they won't have to work again until we 2 a.m. the next morning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. You're you slave driver. Oh, they like it. It's their chance to make money. Yeah. To no doubt. Uh, no, they just need about you know a couple more minutes on the outside. Hey, this is some nice grass you you grew here. Nice, huh? nice and green. Yeah. I like that fake grass. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I saw it the other day. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you'll never have to cut it. That's the thing I like. You don't ever have to cut it. It never gets brown. <laughs> hey, Abby. Okay, I think I'm going to taste some of your wine tomorrow. Yeah. Uh huh. I don't. I. I don't. You know, drink much alcohol, if yeah. any at all. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna try some. Some tasting. If. If you. Drink. If you drop me off there for a few minutes, sure. and maybe she can. Uh, yeah. Tell me all about it. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. No. We, uh, we got some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Now you know those those vats. You call that a vat that we were mixing up. Yeah. Um, each one of those vats will create a different taste, right? Yeah, but they all get, uh, each or, variety will get blended together. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I didn't know if... But so within, remember Miro had, I think, uh, what, four? Yeah, there was four there. Thins of uh, Pinot Noir and then another three, I think. Oh, on the other side, yeah. And it's the same grape, you just put different yeast in them. Uh huh. To create some different flavors, but then they'll all get blended together. Okay, so you don't create special 
bottles of wine with different vats. You just put you put it all together, whatever the well, taste well, is. Variety. Right. So whatever the taste is, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So you try so all those vats get all blended together with how many more vats? Well, only of that variety of that variety. Okay. Yeah. We don't put Zin and Petites and stuff together. Uh -huh. If there's say we pick twenty tons of uh Petite Sirah and he may have some in those things and some in a big tank, uh -huh. then they'll get blended together, but we don't, you know, mix stuff. That's okay. not of the same variety. So when you're picking that particular type of grape, you'll do that throughout the entire vineyard? If the block is ready. And then we may have five different tanks up here in Noir going from different ranches, different blocks. Okay, so if you have different ones going, then that's th those are gonna have different tastes. You're not gonna yeah. blend all those together then. then. We, and if, say we have different uh, areas, like Dry Creek versus Alexander Valley versus Russian River, we will keep those separate and do different modelings. Okay, yeah. and that's where you'll take that to like a state fair yeah. or something like that if for- it warrants it, yeah, uh -huh. if it warrants it. But well, then, you know, before he blends stuff together, he usually tastes everything to make sure it's going to blend well together or uh -huh. it stays separate. It's all up to Miro uh -huh. and what he wants to do. So, I mean, after you mix it in those vats, then it goes to like a wine press? Or th is that considered pressing the... Well, it gets put into uh, storage tanks. Right. And then you settle it out, get rid of a lot of the sediment. Then it goes into barrels. Uh -huh. So uh, y you don't have like anything that presses it. Well, yeah. Once it's done, oh yeah. Once it's done fermenting, then it goes into the press. Oh, it goes into the you press now. No. Is that big? I don't thing think. You walked right by. I might have walked right past the guy. I didn't know. It was rattlesnake, I would have bit you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take a. I need to take a quick picture we'll of that look at tomorrow. It tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So. All right. If I'll let you. If you want, they'll be picking the Merlot there. Oh. Going down the driveway. So. Uh -huh. If you want, you can watch them do the whole truck. Yeah. And they'll be doing yeah, that would be that'd be too. that'd be neat. Yeah, because Miro does the punch downs, but then we also have tanks that we do pump overs. Uh huh. Which they put a device in there and hook up the hose, and it uh, squirts the wine all around the top. Oh, I see. And that's how it gets color and tannins and acid and stuff by the skins. Uh huh. So you think he'll uh, kind of run me through the process of how to make a bottle of wine? Pretty much, yeah. Huh? I'm sure he will. I won't be like messing him around will I? Well, like when he's punching over and stuff there <laughs> he likes to talk so okay Nero does like to talk yeah so. yeah I could I could see that yeah and so maybe he can talk to me as he's working he's and I just won't be in the way to answer him. but if, then yeah. if he has to do something yeah which you know right he'll do it <laughs> yeah hey Abby are you going tomorrow huh are you gonna go with us what do you think? Ah. <laughs>this morning I had to get up at 1 o'clock these guys are out here it's just before 2 a.m. and they're look at this they're all ready to start work he's got over 50 workers today it's gonna be five crews ah, there's probably 65 people out here getting their orders and lots of them have already left Going out to the fields, picking more grapes this morning. He's on tap to pick over a hundred tons today. And that's probably by noon, I think he said. That is just amazing. I think he's gonna pick three varieties of grapes today. He picked Cabernets yesterday. They're gonna finish up some Cabernet in a vineyard uh, this morning. And then he's gonna pick two other varieties today too. Hey, it's just what the customer ordered. What the owner wants, the owner gets. <laughs> That's a switch. Usually by 1 a.m. I'm ready to go to bed after editing my videos, uploading them to YouTube, and responding to comments on YouTube, checking my emails and all that kind of stuff. 
but this morning, not this morning. <laughs>